eating dinner and watching. What do you, uh, what, what's for dinner? I need some ideas for, I don't, my own dinner tonight, chat. What are we having? Although I'm not eating until like 10 o'clock, so don't make me too hungry, okay? Just say it. Don't torture me too much, chat. Oh, that's not a bad run. No. Not a bad it's, run. Yeah, so it's just long enough to where I can't get back to you when you're harvesting. Yeah. Gotcha. GTA and pizza? Burgers, macaroni, salad? Hell, heck yeah. Sounds pretty good, actually, not gonna lie. It is a pretty cool map so far. It's from Stevie. Stevie makes pretty good maps. I'm a big fan of his maps, usually. And this one's not gonna let me down either, to be honest. Fire Shadow, welcome home. Glad you made it safe. Grilled chicken, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese seems to be the theme. Or macaroni and soap can, you know? And a garlic chicken. This is Hillview Farms by Stevie. <laughs> Hillview Farms by Stevie. And uh, you'll understand when we get back up to the farm, Rocks, why it's named that, okay? You should catch up to me. Yeah, probably. It's quite a hill. And there's quite a view from the farm. Just saying. Quite a hill, and there's quite a view up here. But basically, the whole map is like up to the farms here at the homestead. I don't know, I'm not going super fast up this hill. Faster than I did. Well, that. Power of the minion weight, you see. That's what it is. Uh, Vegas Bull, I guess that means you're leaving. Have a great night. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, all the links, man. They were funny. And now I want to go buy a tractor and a plow. Thank you. I'm actually not going to get you. That's surprising. Yeah. Uh, this is just on PC. Stevie does not put his maps on the mod hub. You want to grab this really? I don't care. You got the rest of it? Yeah. Okay. I might have just left mine there, so. I'll get it. Yeah, no. So we need to get a sprayer. We do oh. need to do something with the sprayer, yeah. We can wait one more round. Yeah. Because we just plowed. Because we plowed, yeah, stuff. true. Yeah. Well, Vegas Bowl, have a great, uh, great night. We will catch you um, hopefully on Monday. Maybe we'll play some <coughs> SnowRunner on Monday. I don't know yet. That's like days away. I haven't decided yet. So, yeah. You never know. So much for this tractor, this trailer matching the tractor now. <laughs> oh, well. That's okay. You can always repaint it. That's fine. Change the green, change the yellow to red. What is wrong with that hitch, though? Mm, we don't talk about that. It's something to do. Yeah. That's like just... controls the steering is what that does. Mm -hmm. but I don't know why it... it's. Um, we're not going to say what it looks like. <laughs> it. Yeah, it's sad. I don't know. It just does it. All right. Welcome back, Mayor. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, you're good. I'm not baiting you, bigger as bull.
Ten minutes from now, John, who left his part here. Yo, Barry, would I would I do that? Only if it was left there. Oh, see, Black Hat put it away. Yeah, I don't have to say it now because Black Hat put it away, right? Okay. There you go. Like earlier today when I, I forgot to buy the soil sample for the field and I started planting. So obviously it only put the, the fertilizer to a certain rate. Well, I didn't say anything, but next thing I know, Leonard's out there with a sprayer bringing the field up to where it needed to be. I didn't need to say anything. He just had my back, you know? Kind of the same thing. He didn't say anything. It just happens, you know? Otter said it's food time. We'll catch you later. Well, we'll catch you. Enjoy dinner. Enjoy it. What I haven't done today yet, chat. Charged my phone. 19%. Isn't that bad. Also, I haven't been on my phone all day, obviously, while I'm streaming. Try not to, anyway. It happens sometimes. Wow, you'll vary. I wouldn't call them minions. I would call them valued team members, okay? They're not minions. Minions on the front of the tractor. And his eyes light up. It kind of looks like he has light up ears, too. Those other little lights on the tractor. Same. Yeah, that's the minion. Is there room over here? Probably not, huh? All right. Um, what are we doing with our field? We need to fast time a day, right? So plant. I believe that's all we need to do. Okay. okay. Yeah, nitro nitrogen or not nitrogen? Lime's still good for you know. Okay. That mountain is really mountaining. <laughs> really getting with it. The fountain is fountaining. Like, look at it. It's like aggressive. There's aggressive levels of fountaining. Okay. <laughs> kind of uncalled for. And of course, I am just playing chat. It is aggressive, though. We can all agree with that, right? Okay, so we are good to plant. Is there anything on sale? Chat, there's a sugar beet harvester on sale. I really think we need to... Not buy it. That's what we need to do, is not buy it. Just saying, no, absolutely not, rocks. Absolutely not. Not going to happen. Not today, not tomorrow, not the next day. No. No, thank you. So is there any contracts out we can do? You guys can do? I'm going to be playing for a few. Really, it's not bad. This thing has turbo speed. And it holds fertilizer and it's not supposed to. But we're playing soybean, so it doesn't matter. Shift around a little bit. As the CFO, wait. You're not in charge of the finances in here, Rocks. Where's the finance guy? Wait, what? You're the finance guy, right? Oh, I never heard back from HR. Oh. Well, that's, that's because we oh. can't decide who's HR. Is it Storms or is it is it Troy? Well, I think Storms is like director of HR. I mean, but... he has seniority, you know? 
but I think Troy is like the like the Turk, you know, the one that goes like around chopping a, all the heads. A muscle. Yeah. 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 A muscle. Okay. Sean says it's neither. Who's HR then, Sean? Wait, wait, wait. Did he get a promotion? The ghost. Wow. Chuck is head of HR now, huh? Interesting. Does Chuck know about this? Probably not. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck's busy playing uh, Warcraft. <laughs> the head of HR, HR towards the executioner. Hi, Starms. <laughs> oh, Sean. I love that we have these, like, you know, real titles of, uh, you know, a company is not really, you know what I mean? Yeah. Are you playing Ross, Jack? Okay. Gotcha. Arson. You know, honestly, uh, uh, rocks is kind of the other way. I'm more of his assistant at this point. <laughs> Command and Conquer, that's the game I meant to say, yeah. Command and Conquer. I think I do remember that game a little bit, Command and Conquer. I... I think I do. What was the game, man? Okay, for his first time still here? First time? What was the game where you could have the aircraft carriers and stuff? Was that Command and Conquer? You could have like the hangars. I don't remember what game that was. That game was fun. That might, I don't I have no idea what game it was, but it was, it was a good time. No, well, first time's actually here. He might not be around his computer. All right, so 17 miles per hour. Uh, this is a Stevie Cedar. It comes with the map, so nobody give me any uh, any grief for using an unrealistic uh, Cedar here, okay? Empire Earth. That's the game. I always thought that one was so much fun. Yeah, there's the runway, I remember. Yep, okay. That's exactly what the game I was thinking of. It was Empire Earth. Yep. Where's Storms? Is oh, Sean, that got aggressive. Uh -oh. Even though this is... Uh, there uh, is... Do what, Sarge? Goodness, is it... Just looking at the graphics on the Command and Conquer, it looks oh. shock. No, never played that. You say it looks cheesy? Is that what you said? Yeah, I used to play part of those too. Okay. Oh, okay. Great Command and time. Conquer. Okay. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Empire Earth. That's the other game I was thinking of, though. I love Empire Earth. Is that available anywhere, I wonder? Amazon. Oh man. 1995, yeah. The redneck power lines. Oh, Troy's here too. Hi, Troy. Hi, Troy. Welcome back. Not available on like Steam. Darn. Empire Earth I was looking at. I remember that game was something. I liked Empire Earth. They're like trucks and it was cool. I don't know. Sean's making stuff up, Troy. I don't remember having like any meetings about this or I don't know. I think Sean's off his rocker today because there's no NASCAR race, you know. Sean's just making stuff up as he goes. Just saying. As Carson. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, first time is dad trying to make those pies yet or or no? Is he waiting until later? Yep, you bet to try. What we're going with. Oh, buddy. So you're saying you're part of the pole? Yes. That's you. L3FT43 Atch Eardex 100. There was a meeting last week. It was sent via email. You just don't respond. Oh. Oh. Sean is all jacked up on Mountain Dew energy. That's the problem. He just got stopped. Okay. Okay. Oh, they're held on Wednesdays, Yuleberry. I'm always at the farm. Nice fire. That's the problem, Yuleberry. Okay, thank you. Held on Wednesdays. Man. <clears throat> they're away. They're not wearing their hideous. Okay. I have not seen their uniforms at all. Wow, shot. Founder, true. True. <laughs> I think this company is in shambles, y'all. Nobody knows about the meetings. So confused. All right, who's responsible for setting up the meeting? I, I, I'm not sure. We need to make somebody in charge of that. All right, step one. Oh, there's one on Sundays to make up for the ones that miss on Wednesday. Oh. Company's all a dream. Dude, I'm more confused than a $3 bill, okay? I don't know which way's up anymore. Hi, Troy. All right, we got to get some structure going here in the So, company. have you been attending the Wednesdays or Sunday meetings? Um, neither one, because I didn't know nothing about none of them. <laughs> Me either. Sean's the one that doesn't attend anything. So, he must have a meeting for one, huh? Meeting for party of one, meeting party of one. Right. Oh man. Starms, hello. I think Sean is just sitting in a room having meetings with the voices in his head. I mean, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I, I mean, I suppose. Gotta do what you gotta do. That is kind of an interesting uh, jersey or whatever they call it their first time. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah. I think he's just bored because there's no race tonight, and there's supposed to be a race. So, no, there are there are a lot of people in this <clears throat> in this chat room right now on Teamspeak. We could we could probably knock out a meeting now, right? <laughs> Wait, where'd that come from? What? Contract. You didn't buy that, right? No. Okay. It's from a contract. Okay. I was like, um. Okay. I haven't seen that one of them in a while. I got you, Sean. I got you. So first order of business is what are the refreshments at this meeting? Because, like, I could go for a nice glass of ice water and, you know, some food. BYOB. Crap. <laughs> I mean. Wait a minute, man. Hold up. Hold up. Put it reverse, Terror. See, this is how it's a, uh. Team speak meeting. Uh -huh. I really don't know how we're going to pass out refreshments. Oh, that's true. Laughed, you're the truck driver. Can you handle logistics? Yeah, I got it. We're having fruit punch. Oh. Fruit punch. Sugar free, I hope. Nah, we're going oh. unhealthy. Sorry. Okay, I'll have to uh, take from the meeting in an echoey room. Uh, just don't worry about it, okay? I might be muted a lot, okay? Pizza and orange soda. Wait, Matt must be holding these meetings. <laughs> Who loves orange soda? 
Hell does orange soda. Hell does. Yeah. Dude, that's a movie that I don't know if I could watch, but it used to be really funny. Yeah. I don't know if I would still find it funny, but I used to. Yeah, not so much. Uh, it probably doesn't hold up, right? Yeah. The kids like it, though. The, kid thinks, the kids think it funny. Think oh, it's really? Funny. That's awesome. So you're passing down Keenan and Kel to the next generation. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I'm passing everything down. <laughs> hey, is that bear? Yes, that is a bear sighting. Well, hey, bear. How you doing, buddy? Good to, good to hear you. <laughs> it's good to hear you, too, man. <laughs> first time I don't know what you're talking about. I'd, I'd like to propose as a, as a first order of business. Can, <laughs> can my application for CFO be, be reviewed or approved <laughs> officially? No. Oh, this, is, this no, no, isn't no, like a... You're logistics. You're not HR. <laughs> This isn't like a meeting where we decide stuff. This is a a, a pre-planning oh. meeting. Yeah. Oh, this is the meeting for the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's the meeting for the meeting for the meeting. All right, yeah. Well, I'll go ahead and step out of the meeting then. Thanks. Appreciate it, guys. <laughs> oh, Let attendance me know is mandatory, though. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not a part of the meeting. Uh, but, you know, the thing. All right. <laughs> Chad, if I ever do form like a big company, this is exactly how it's going to be run, okay? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> I foresee mutiny in the future. Right? You guys will just, like, send me out on a tractor and, you know, cut the brake line or something, right? I can see hey, it. Hey, I got yeah, a question to ask you. Huh? And did you see your blues tonight? Uh, don't say they're mine. I, they suck this year. Well, they on they was doing pretty good tonight. Are they? They only lost by one. Oh, that's good. I guess. Well, and then you forgot about the battle hawks too. Yeah, the hawks, baby. Go hawks. Just saying. Got the hawks. You got you got the the football club now. You know Saint Saint Louis. What is it? FC. Right. Football. Things are looking good here in St. Louis, I guess, or something, right? Who's balls the devil? No, not that football. The other football. Footy. Soccer. Yeah. We got a soccer team now. We got an MLS uh, soccer soccer team here in St. Louis now. St. <laughs> Louis is just going downhill like that. <laughs> Been downhill. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, they're, they're falling further. Wait, is there another direction on a hill besides down? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I didn't know that. You, know, you got too many gangs in St. Louis? Dude, it's bad. Bad, bad, bad. The Blues have the potential to go really bad. Oh, no. Now, are we talking lion's bed? Yeah, I don't even know. It's on Apple TV right now for free. Nice. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Yeah, the Blues, like, absolutely fell apart this year. And then they've started, like, you know, trading some of their high-dollar players. It's, like, time to rebuild. But, you know, you can't blame them. They have to do it. It's all business, after all. Okay, so what do we got going? You're spraying over there. A little fertilizing. Nice. I love the fertilizing contractor. Especially when you get the big fertilizer sprayer from one and use it on the other contracts. Here for it. But you can go uphill. So confused. Yeah, you can go up here. It just takes effort. Oh. What's that? Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> right? I don't do that. Sounds like work. <laughs> yeah. And that's why I'm in pain right now. Downhill's more fun. <laughs> because I did work. Oh, no. Get those I power forgot how heavy my chainsaw is. Get those power lines fixed? No, she's still without power. All the power company? Oh, yeah. yeah. There's like something like 400,000 
something it's like close to half a million people without power around here. Oh. Oh, that's right. It's from that storm the other day, right? Yeah, the ice storm. That's right. Okay, so and might... because she's like a single house. It deal, might be a minute. Like... Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and with like no medical issues in the house or. Tomcat right. H. Yeah. Cheered X100. High voltage sign. Damn, yet. Yeah, I don't know why I double played. Tomcat H. Cheered X100. High voltage sign. Tom, yeah, thanks to the bits. I don't know why you got a double alert, but hey, today's your lucky day. Go buy a lottery ticket or something, you know? Just saying. Appreciate the bits. Thank you. Yeah, so we're, we're supposed to get another storm. Say so Sean's talking about another four to seven inches coming Tuesday. I'm in the ice belt for that storm. Oh, boy. It'll be like the ice. 60 I'm degrees just... here. Don't worry. Here to look at the forecast. <laughs> That's the last I heard was the ice belt. What like day? right on the edge of it. Uh Monday, Tuesday, I think it's supposed to be. Okay, uh, it's showing for me gray. High of thirty eight, low of thirty five for Monday. Sixty six and thirty eight Monday. Sixty and forty eight Tuesday. <laughs> I'll just put my phone down now. Wow. Dude, I'll take like all the snow over like a little tiny bit of ice. Oh, I, mm -hmm. ice storms are so bad. How much yeah. ice did you end up with in the storms? At least a quarter inch. Okay. I know we had we had back in 2006 we had half an inch of ice, and like 20, 30 mile per hour winds. And I, I remember waking up because the power was out because my fan turned off. And I woke up and I could just hear like shotguns being shot outside the house. And I'm like, what is going on out there? So finally, dad got up to like plug in or get generator going and stuff. So I got up to help him. And I just remember like walking out my backyard. It was fairly bright out. But like I was half asleep and, and the neighbor's trees were breaking. That's what the shotgun blasts were. These big tree branches just snapping like they were nothing. And uh, I just remember being out there. And I'm like, this is not fun at all. Like, we need to go back in the house. This is dangerous. Because you never know. It could catch a power line and snap, and you never know. But, I've heard uh, power lines do that before. Yeah. They didn't break, but you could just you hear the, the ice and snow fall off of them. Oh, yeah. They, they make a very distinct sound. You can see that, yeah. But yeah, that was that was uh, quite a storm. I think that was like 10 days. We were without power. Something like that. Uh, yeah. It's like Monday, I'm supposed to get anywhere from 0 0.5 to 15.15 okay. inches of ice. Nice. Yay. Sounds like fun. So fun. I'm so excited. <laughs> That's when you gotta run all, like, everything in your house so your power line's hot coming to your house so it doesn't gather as much ice. Because that totally works, right? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Your, your power line's getting hot to your house. You got problems. <laughs> oh, man. I don't want to be in that house if that's happening. Right? Because your breaker box is probably about to catch on fire. Oh, it's probably already catched on fire. Cool cowboy, what's going on, man? Sound like a big old cannon transformer, yeah. I've heard a couple of those pop in the neighborhood over the years. Life was ideal as this rendering. Downtown looks so nice and clean. Or something. Um, I think they might be starting on the cherry pies. Playing the Edgewater map. Nice. Very nice. Alright, I will be on my last pass seating. 
Uh, that's not 86% bad. Done. Okay. That's not bad with this uh, souped up cedar. I don't love it. You're sitting at 82 Celsius right now. Wow. I'm running 63 on my GPU. Wow. No bullets. No four wheelers either first time. This is, uh, this is, uh, what's it called? Yeah. Hillview Farms Best TV. Oh. Oh, that's your CPU. Okay, I got. I don't have a temp on my CPU right now. I got my GPU uh, program pulled hot up for, there. Pretty hot for a CPU. Yeah, that's you're gonna melt it. GPU is fine. Gotcha. You know, if you want your GPU not to be fine, play Red Dead Redemption Two. Red Dead Redemption Two. I have my GPU set up so the RGB on the side will go like green and then yellow and then kind of orange and red when it gets really hot. Mm -hmm. Go straight to red playing that game. Doesn't matter how hot it or cool it is in this room. Straight to red. Coding inefficiencies, basically. I don't know. It's crazy. That's why I only played it for a while that night. I was getting hot in here. Like I can't play anymore. It's too hot. Oh, you know what? We'll be a good person. We'll even fill up the cedar. It's probably something along the lines of how much it re doesn't require it, but it requests it. Yeah. Yeah. If it can, I mean, I always say that with like farm sim, let's say. Like my GPU will be sitting at like, you know, 7% and I'm struggling to get frame rates. Like, hey, use the GPU. Come on. Gotcha, Sean. Is it RAM heavy? I didn't notice that when I played it. All right, we are done uh, seeding. I hope the race is over in time for you to watch Crew 6 coverage. Well, they do start coverage really early on those crew missions, but I would hope so, Sean. Yeah. All right. Um, we need this until midnight, so. Yeah, but don't they do usually do like a lot of hours? We don't need a 225 horsepower tractor, right? No. Something. Oh, do we need to? We don't need to spray this time, right? Nope. Yeah. We worked it. But really, you just need to watch from like when they go out through the closeout room from there on. The stuff before you don't need to watch. Absolutely not, Rocks. We're not buying it. Absolutely not, bro. <coughs> um, no, I'm not too worried about it. We do have soybeans, so we could sell, right? Yeah, a couple, like 40 some thousand. Yeah, I'm not worried about selling those, honestly. We're doing okay money wise. Right now. No tractors that we need. Send it. Let's do it. Do it and do it, do it, do it. Come on, this one's taking a minute. Okay, hold the phone. That's the small one, right? The 
Yeah, the 700 is the small one. So 431 horsepower. It's about on par with what our the PDRX is. Yeah. So like a, a couple shy. But $187,000. Or, or if it's still broken, which I don't think it is anymore. I don't think it is broken. It'd be thirty-five thousand. I wouldn't do the three meter. No, I wouldn't do that. Rocks. I would do the. Anything, Sarge? Head. Yes or no? Supposedly 25, looks like he's 50. Well, is that a yay or nay, Sarge? Uh, it's not bad. I feel like we would not use it. We'd be disappointed in it in a way, you know? How much horsepower was it? Uh, You can get it up to 431. 431. Not too it's not really an upgrade from where we're at. It's just another drivable. But I don't know but that we you know, need it. Here's a rye field we could hunt. There is a rye. We can go do that. That is if we are drawing all that good stuff. 16. We can, we can go do that. I'm fine with that. Buys our own equipment. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. Don't matter to me one way. Yeah, I don't care. I realized I wasn't here in my scanner and I hear sirens. We're going to use our own equipment. Good or. We have everything, right? Yeah, we have everything. Mm -hmm. The only thing is we can get a second combine. But really, that's not. The, I mean, it's a decent sized field. But I don't think we need a second combine because we can start bailing right bailing away, right? Anyways. All right, it's yeah. our contract. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, there's oh, wait, nothing to it but to do it, right? right. It's not like we have a small combine or anything. Stevie started us with a big combine chat. Just a, a little bit of a big combine. Wait, is that really being sold at the sell everything in our homestead? Is it? Oh, it is. There's an exclamation mark there. Oh, man. Okay. Do we get yeah. a... You don't have a point there, do we? No, there that's is. not set up. Oh yeah, nice. I, yeah, I didn't set that up. I only put that there for honey sales, to be honest. It's the only reason it's there. Mm, the game doesn't care though. Um the bail trailer that we have we should be able to auto drive that if we want to. Just to get that process going while we're you know. The only problem with that is it might interfere with the trucks. Or however we're hauling the grain away. It, it would just have to wait in line with them, but that's not a huge deal. Yeah, I was. Oh, yeah. Do okay. we need another tractor right away? No. Okay. Over here, put the other tractor on the. I don't know what kind of yield we're about to have here. Probably not that great. I got a. Yeah. Hey, Black Hat, look, let's look what's over to the left, by the way. We still haven't done this on a map. The, the soybean refinery thing or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a floating deer. There's a floating deer. Oh, he teleported. That deer was totally floating. Y'all saw that, right? That... There deer, was yeah. two. That deer was in the air, man. 
All right, where's auto drive out of here so I can park this somewhere? Okay, over there, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay, I for the pickup trailer. Yeah. Set that up as. Um. That gets set on. Which mode does that get set on? Uh, let's see. Hold on. That would get set as the the one where it's like the pickup. It's like the trailer with the arrow on top of it, Sarge. Okay. Uh, long stream today. No, this is a regular Saturday. Every Saturday, 10 hours, roughly. That's no deer. It's a reindeer. Pretty much, Sean. Rudolph, is that you? <laughs> Rudy? What are you doing this time of year? <laughs> oh, and then, Sarge, make sure you have the auto drive button set as well. Or the, Which the, one? The course play button. Sorry. You got to have the course play button set as well. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That way they'll switch over. Um, yeah. I'm a full-time streamer. You betcha. You betcha. I wouldn't change it. Trade it for nothing. I love what I do. Most days. All right. So do we want a 1050 um, trailer? Or do we want to get the semi truck and try that? Um, Just have it run back to our homestead. Wait, Use what? the 1050 as an auger wagon. Ah, uh, that's up to you guys. I don't care. 1050 runs faster. Yeah. Yeah. But are you saying like logistics with like capacities? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we can try it this way. If it doesn't work, we can always get the semi. The semi will dump at our homestead. We know that. Okay. That will dump there. And like I said, there is an update for the map. It'll be out. Well, it's out. I just didn't get it yet. Got it. Just so everybody's aware of chat. I didn't know there was an update until we were already playing today. So we'll get it for next time we play, which will be Tuesday. Uh, next time I'm farming. Yeah. Was gunshots or fireworks, Jet? It didn't sound like fireworks. Definitely didn't sound like fireworks. <laughs> Need uh, GPS. Up, up, yeah. Going for GPS, okay. Okay. Although, you know what? I can shift it because I'm the only combine. Might as well shift. Okay. Good to go. Where's our uh, tipper guy? Is he on his way? The bail guy? The uh, bail trailer guy. Yeah. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. That's his own way. We might have to check the unloading. Oh, you know what? That trailer doesn't unload on auto drive, does it? The tinkle in my pants? Yeah. Tomcat H cheered Dex 100 gun. Tomcat, thanks for the 100. I don't think that trailer unloads on auto drive, Sarge. I don't think it does. We can try it, but I don't think it does. Oh, well, if it don't, just a babysitter. We now can you're... still come in here and pick up bales and run. Yeah, but we can. Yeah. For a whopping $19,500, uh, we can buy a trailer. We can buy that normal trailer that we use. And actually, we'll make money on the deal. 
because we can just sell the other All one. All right, done. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make money on the deal. So. And then the only thing you have to set there is the unloading uh, where you want it to unload. If that makes sense. If not, I'll jump. I'll, I'll do it if you want me to. Yeah. What makes sense for the unload on? Uh, behind. Love the new map so far. Yeah, special pet. I'm I'm digging it, man. The hills are gonna be real, and the the giant fields that we're gonna plow together are gonna be real. But you know that's okay, right? It's all good. It's all good. I can't wait for the one to uh, nine conglomerate field. Right. It's gonna be awesome. Going to be awesome. Okay. I do an end row down here too, because I like end rows. <laughs> well, the way on contracts, it instantly yells at you that you don't have access to the land. Mm -hmm. Kind of annoys me. Mm -hmm. So if I do an end row, at least it gives me a minute to pick my head up before I'm out in the grass. I wish it was a little bit bigger of an area. I, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a, like, that's a little thing, you know, a small issue, but, like, it's one of those that just kind of annoys you. Mm-hmm. It, oh. it should be yeah. as big as what you buy, we'll say. The plot, yeah. Especially for a harvest contract or something, I don't know. I don't know. Or just don't yell at us immediately as soon as like we get just outside the boundary and it yells mm -hmm. like chill bro take it easy man fine all good right so sarge did you want me to handle the trailer or you got it oh uh, i've got it i just burned okay. him over to the show that's what I'm saying. On that new one, you want me to do it, or you got it? I'd be happy to Either do way. it. Either way, it's up to you. Be happy to do it if you uh, if you got it. If not, that's fine. Or, I should have it. Okay, it's fine. All good. Here yet. Okay. We'll do that again. That way the straw is inside the field boundary so we can pick it up with auto drive and course play. Because that's a nice feature to have. Do a bad show. Sounds like we got a house fire potentially going on and a pretty good accident going on at the same time. That would explain all the sirens I heard a minute ago. Potential house fire. It sounds like it's, it's out or there wasn't a fire or something. I don't know. They're talking about hydrants if they need it. So. Doesn't sound like they actually do, but. Which is good. I don't know what the initial call out was though. I didn't hear it. I just heard a ton of sirens out here. Yeah. Okay. Doing a little harvest contract. We're bailing the straw because we can. Size. Do what? Oh yeah, you gotta do that too. You gotta get the right size bail. I guess that's 20s. a 240s right now. That's at a 220. How is it? I think the other trailer can only pick up 220s. Oh. Now they can pick up the 240s. I am in a suburb of St. Louis is where I'm at. So if people ask where I live, I say St. Louis. I say, well, not actually, but like, that's close enough. I'm about 40 minutes from downtown St. Louis. I can go get some great Wi-Fi from the Arch in about 40 minutes. Going northeast, southwest. Yeah, I, I live in a north-southeast magnetic north direction of the Arch. Too bad, Joe. 
That's where I live. So, close enough. Close enough. I don't try to give out too much, like, you know, identifying information about my town or something. Try not to, anyway. It happens sometimes. We have a command for my address. Hour and a half away from downtown KC. Let's go. Uh, my address is 1 Puma Plow Way under the Arch St. Louis Mo. That's totally my address. Yep, look it up. <laughs> Actually not my address at all. <laughs> but yeah. Close enough to hear the explosive ants. <laughs> See, there's the arch right there. Right there, chat. See, that's how close I am to the arch. Yep. It's just right over my monitors over there. Looks great. Got the lights on it. It's all lit up. You know, at night. That's not a live image you just saw, obviously. Okay. Oh, man. You used to go down to the Renaissance Festival in Winsville? Did you really? I've never been to it. I've always wanted to go and people watch. Just saying. By the time he leaves there, the sun is up. Not wrong, Sean. Not wrong. Pizza delivery. Serves him right, Yulberry. I mean, I hope the guy was okay. Serves him right. Why were they going the wrong direction? Gosh. That's funny. They used to compete. That's awesome. Toe Boy just resubscribed for nine months. DJ, welcome back for nine months. How's it going? Welcome in. Appreciate it. Yeah, I've never been. My uh, one brother used to take my nephew out there uh, to the Renaissance Fair. We're, we're a little ways away from that. But I, I know where it's at. Definitely. Here's a really good question. Which one is it? Which one what? Yes. The, the sell everything's. I, you'd have to highlight it probably. Oh, well, you know what? I don't know because that's not going to tell you. I picked the right one. Which one is it? The second one in. <laughs> I guessed. Dump a little bit and see if our dollar figure goes. That's true, is. yeah. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> That's funny. Sarge, that. Oh, that guy went up to the homestead, huh? Yeah, he'll be back. <laughs> Don't sound too enthusiastic about that build build trailer. <laughs> He'll figure out his life eventually, right? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much auto drive for you. They'll figure it out eventually. We need to get a different bailer, don't we? Eventually. I mean, we have money. I mean, I can just. Oh, I, oh, I got to turn these balers off for sure. I forgot those were still in there. The baler with the rake on them. They're broken. $115,000. We will probably make money if we if we trade out balers. 115000 Just saying. Get it. I'll swap them. You want to do it? I'm a little bit ahead of the, um, yeah. Anyways. All right. There's 115 gone, but I bet you when you go sell that bailer, you'll probably make it back. Probably will. Nine PM and you're already tired. It is 9 PM, isn't it? I realized it was so late already. 
Almost nine. Almost nine. Not quite, but you know, getting there. It's a getting there. Man, I might have to stop and wait down here. Gosh. I'm just used to the modded combines we were using on Springwood, the, the case. The ones that have another 10,000? Well, and it would unload in like, you know, no time. Ah, that too. Yeah. I kind of miss the combines like this in a way. That actually take an appropriate amount of time to unload. Kind of miss it. Must have been a good drink to make you sleepy already. Wow, fire. Just wow. I think that guy got stuck, Sarge. You know what? Maybe I told you wrong on this. You know what? I did, Sarge. That's my fault. We want him to tip here. Not pick up here. That's my fault. Yeah. Okay. He's on his way now. I was like, why is he just sitting down there, like, not moving? Or sitting up there, not moving? Very confused. Do what? The cross play button now. Oh, you know what? I didn't even pay attention to that. Oh. And then, yeah, that's okay. Okay. Let's go. Oh, man, I'm leaving piles of straw. Good thing with this new baler, it should pick those up no problem. It should. We needed this baler. Remember on uh, Oat Baleron? When we would drop straw where the pond was? Oh. And then it wouldn't drop straw until he got past where the pond used to be. Mm -hmm. And then it would leave a mountain. That's where we needed this baler. Because it would have handled it just fine. Well, kind of. But, yeah. Oh, man. Fire Shadow. Don't talk about being tired. Same level of dumbness. I'll very. Just well. Arch, I'm curious when you go to sell that paler, by the way. I'm going to pay attention. It's been repainted and repaired. I'm going to guess repaired and repainted. $17,000. We just made money on that. <laughs> All right. We got a bailer that'll actually pick up the whole pass. Technically, that means we're going to make more money because we're getting more straw off the fields. So that's good, right? That's another one modification down the road. I think we have to do that bailer is the silage additive. Uh, it depends what we bail. If we do it. Yeah, if we do think. it. I say it's not required right now, but just yeah. if we do silage bales. Yeah. I don't know if we will or not. Never know. We have a dryer or a silage maker in the homestead. We do, actually. There's a for, yeah, fermenting silo and a drying silo, right? Yeah, both in there. Yeah. So. For reality, you just need to cut the grass. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to go animals or not. I haven't really... Kind of six to one half dozen of the other. We have all the buildings. We haven't used them. What did it take to make me use the tiny square baler? Um, probably the promise of new friends, because all the people that are farming with me now would leave. <laughs> Bye -bye. I need new friends. That's what I'll need. I think the, the last time you guys used it, I think you ended up getting a a bale stuck in the. We did. Or, we had a bale stuck in the map. Or left. It was left in the mat on the ground or something mm -hmm. like that. Yep. Drying. You don't dry the seeds. You dry like uh, grass into hay. 
our alfalfa into like dry grass or dry alfalfa. That's the stuff you dry. You don't just dry like, you know, wheat or anything. It's not that kind of dryer. Yeah. Not that kind of dryer. All right, we got that John Deere over there picking up bales automatically for us on course play slash auto drive. Hopefully it's all working right. Not broken when he gets back to the homestead. We'll see. It's it's a little bit to get it figured out. We might have to move the unload uh, or the trigger, like the point for the bin. We might have to move that forward a little bit. Yeah. Just, just started. No, that's a mod. Uh, it's called Guidance Steering. We call it GPS. Uh, it is available in the mod hub under the gameplay section for PC only. Uh, if you're on PC, just go in there and search uh, Guidance Steering or, you know, GPS. It might pull up with that too, but it's under gameplay. Yeah. And it's an awesome mod. It's this whole menu. It looks complicated, but it's really not. It's really simple to get it set up. If you get it going and you want help with it, feel free to come in and ask. And I'll uh, walk you through setting it up. Very simple and very nice to have. Yeah. It is a great time. But we pretty much, we have to get it like all the time. All there is to it. It should be base game in my opinion, but hey. Yeah. That's just me. Once you use it, you won't want to go back. Exactly. Yeah. Makes you a lot more efficient. And then we actually save our courses to our north, south, and our east, west. And that way, like, if we had a second combine and they had the same size header, he could load up the same course. And then we could uh, just go from there. And we'd be running perfect lines across the entire field. Right? Uh, special bet. And it should be on console as well. I'll say it. It should be. This map is not for console, no. Nope, Stevie does not put his maps uh, in the mod hub. Right, Mrs. Professor? Very satisfied, straight, straight rows, right? Gotta love it. Yuleberry. I have not cut to a clip from SnowRunner last night driving the tractor in there. <laughs> Dude, I was all over the place. That's yeah, all that, I know. That game, you <laughs> that's, can't drive in a straight line. That's just how you play that game. You're all over the place. All the time. Sarge, you like that, Baylor? Kind of gets with it, too, doesn't it? That is our bailer, by the way, chat. We are going to be using for the 100,000 bail challenge. Lugger took the in-game bailer and basically made the pickup header wider. Like the trigger for it. The physical thing is not any different, I don't think. But made the trigger for it wider. So it can actually pick up a full-size windrow from behind, you know, a combine or, or whatever. Without leaving little skippers here, there, and everywhere. So... And it might be a, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit faster as well. Just a little bit. Just a couple miles an hour. But otherwise, it's an in-game bailer. Just uh, been tweaked. In-cab manual driving? Hi. It does have a couple animal barns up in the homestead. Um, I'm assuming his storage is pretty good size. Uh, but I don't actually know. If I would have to guess, it's the 50 mil. Yeah, it's probably, yeah, probably 50. Yeah, probably 50 mil. Which is pretty good size, you know. There's another 50 mil. The little guy, that's 50 mil. 10, 10 mil for 
Yeah, 25 mil. Good gosh. The whole thing. Another motor vehicle accident. Air more air hards. Golly, it's getting real out there right now. Like all out warfare out there or something. Hush. Who knows what's going on out there, chat? Getting crazy. into the huge unrealistic stuff yeah i mean i don't know you know we're not using any like crazy big equipment you know yeah our storage just got a big i i kind of miss you know let me let me rephrase this i kind of miss but i kind of don't because it doesn't work like it should but i kind of miss like uh, when we played oak aileron and we had all the bins set up with all the augers you know, the problem is augers move. If augers didn't move, I would use those bins like every single time. You know? That'd be interesting, Rocks. But I would absolutely love if they, if like the augers didn't move and we had to use augers. Like, like I would be all about that. I would use that every single time. But. Unfortunately, augers move like way too much. And they're unusable. So, in my experience, my opinion. But yeah. Is that guy picking up bales doing all right? Has he been to unload yet? Nope. He's, He's going. going around the field right now, so okay. he should be sending up there soon. Okay. I just, I'm curious to make sure he unloads. Hopefully all the bales get in there. Like I said, we might have to move that point on auto drive a little bit. But if we do, we do. If not, that's fine too. I can check next time I'm back up there. Okay. He should be full by the time I get back up there again. Yeah, that's true, true. Neil Farmer's map. Huh? Where you had to go in and like flip the little the switches on like the dryer? Is that what you're talking about, Rocks? That was interesting, yeah. I mean, it worked all right, yeah. But I'm talking about actually like having, you know, an auger that you can move from bin to bin. And you need an unload auger to unload the bins. Like, I would love to play like that, but they move too much. You know, every couple uh, truckloads, you got to go move the auger. That's not realistic. Yeah. You know, and that's the beautiful part of this game is everybody does have their own way to play, you know? Yeah. Everybody does have their own way to play, and that's, that's what's awesome about this game. Just saying. Everybody can play the game the way they want, but at the end of the day, we're still, you know, talking about the same game and, and whatnot, you know? That's the beautiful part about it. I think, anyway. All right, he's driving that away. He's the driving. Professor... I, Mrs. Professor, I don't know. It could be a multiplayer, like, server issue, too. You know, there's a lot of lot of issues with this game that, like, a lot of people don't have, but throw the map on the server, you'll have the issue. So, that could be one of those issues where it's a, it's a server thing. Very possible. I don't know. That and just issues that not everyone has. Yeah, know? I know. That's what's weird, too. Big facts, exactly. Exactly. Now I get like that modded uh, cedar that moves or the that, that fertilizer tank. I understand those move. That's fine. That's a mod. I get that. 
But for B base game, and I know we've had problems with them in the past, like kind of annoying. Plus, I guess the other way, since we play using like auto drive a lot to move our grain around, wouldn't really work to use a auger like that anymore. Here's move, yeah. There you go. Like 1950s or earlier. Be interesting. Big up there, yeah. I'm gonna go check on him really fast. Okay. Okay, so he did not unload at all. Un is it? There we go. Okay, let's try that. He said, I still might have to move that point. I don't know yet. Come on, buddy. Don't let me down. You can do it. Nailed it. And we don't have to move the point. Sweet. All right, buddy has set up the hall bales now. Cool. He is good to go. Charge that baler doesn't seem to be missing a single piece, does it? I like it. I like it, I like it. 